What's up guys? My name is Taylor Trickle and welcome to the TT Movements Calisthenics page. Today we're going to be going over front lever workout for beginners. Let's do this. Today we're going to be practicing on the gymnastics rings but all these skills that you do on the gymnastics rings are gonna transfer really well over to the bar. And I'm also gonna be doing another video using parallettes and the bar in order to do the front lever workout as well. One of the main things that you need to focus on with the front lever is engaging the scapula. So using those shoulder blades and you don't wanna be hunched up, you wanna press them down and retract. So it's gonna be really hard to do that in the beginning but the more you practice it, the more you'll be able to do it. So this first exercise is gonna really help build that scapular strength. So we're gonna put hands on the rings. And if you need to, if you're brand new to this, just start with your feet on the ground or your knees on the ground and just use that scapula, keep those arms locked. So make sure those arms are locked the whole time and only pull from your shoulders and your shoulder blades. So let's go for 10 reps of this. Second exercise is going to be doing ring rows. We're going to be rowing and we're going to switch to an underhand grip at the very top of the motion. And I want you to make sure you're getting full range of motion with this one. I want you guys to start at a slight angle. If you need to make this one more challenging or as you progress, the further you bring your feet forward, the harder it's going to get. Let's go for 10 quality reps with this one. Alright guys, the next exercise we're going to do is going to be face pulls. So, again, just like the row, the further you bring your feet forward, the harder this one's going to get. I want you to focus on leading with those elbows and pulling your face up towards the ceiling with this one. Alright, let's go for 10 quality reps with this one. we're going to be doing some actual front lever work. So I want you guys to kick up into a tucked position with the front lever and then control it down as much as you can. So remember, we need to retract those shoulder blades. We're going to kick up and control it on the way down the whole time. So let's go for six of these. Eccentric tucked front lever is too hard. I want you to get a resistance band one that's going to give you help But not do the entire movement for you because that would defeat the whole purpose of this one So let me show you how to get this one set up so take this resistance band and loop it around one of the rings and then bring your other hand through grab that ring so you got a nice tight grip on it Put your foot here, and then we're going to get into that tucked front lever position all the way up, and then back down. Alright guys, this next one is super important, not only for front levers, but just to build pulling strength. 
Um, and I'm sure you saw it coming, we're going to be doing a pull up. We're going to be doing an eccentric one, so I want you guys to jump to the top of the movement and control yourself on the way down. So what that means is, we're going to jump up and control until we totally lock out at the bottom. And again, we're focusing on retracting those shoulder blades at the top and just controlling it as much as you can. Let's go for six reps with this one. Even if you fall down really fast with those, that's okay. You're gonna build strength over time, so just keep at it. They're gonna get stronger. All right, so for the next one, we're gonna be doing a harder variation of the ring row that we started with, and we're going to be doing a single arm row. This way we can tackle any muscle imbalances and make sure both sides are getting just as much activation. So with this one, again, the further you bring your feet forward, the harder it's gonna be. So we're gonna start here, we're going to let one of them go, and then we're going to row up. If this one, again, feels too easy, just get a little bit lower. Every little bit is going to make a huge difference with this one. So, let's go for eight reps per side with this one. So again, now that we got the back and the shoulders warmed up, remember, we're retracting, bringing those shoulder blades down and together, and we're going to lock out the elbow with this one. Make sure that you're always focusing on those points with this one. And let's go for five second holds with this one. five seconds on every single hold that's okay just shoot for that five second goal you'll get there even if it's three seconds two seconds every little bit counts all right guys we're gonna end this workout with some core work which is very important not only for the front lever but just in general to get that core work in so what I want you to do with this one is we really have to focus on the hips coming forward so we aren't arching the lower back with this one and keeping everything in a nice tight line with this. So I want you to get down, you're on your knees, push those hips forward, tighten those glutes. We're going to come forward and then back up. Let's shoot for 10 reps with this one. Perfect. position, activating, just like we did with the scapular activation exercise, and we're going to get some core work in. So we're going to be doing some knee raises. So I want you guys, you can from the floor if you need to with this one, and we're going to activate those shoulder blades, bring those knees up, 
really tuck them, control it on the way down with your core. So let's go for 10 of these. That's the beginner front lever workout. I want you guys to shoot for four rounds of this one for that rep range that I said for each exercise. Give yourself some break in between, but try not to sit around for too long. I would say 30 seconds max. Um, if you need to go up to a minute, you can. The more you do this one, work on that endurance. Try to bring that rest time down more and more until you can just really, really get through these. You're gonna be building a ton of strength and endurance that way. Have fun with the workout, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. If you like this workout, guys, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment letting me know what you wanna see next for any calisthenics moves, mobility, whatever it may be, leave a comment. Thumbs up that comment if you see one that you like, and let's get some more workouts going. Thanks for watching this TT Movements. is swinging hang raises, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. hey! Have it like facing like over here, like this way, and like this way, and I'll just swing into the frame. TT movements, <laughs> subscribe now. <laughs>